our Africa Business Reporter and Ketchi Ogbona engaged Alan Ebobise, CEO Africa 50, Dr. Akinumi Adesina, President Africa Development Bank, and Admasu Tadas, MD Trade and Development Bank, in a panel discussion with a focus on the infrastructure, investment funding gaps, and opportunities on the continent. Take a look. The boardrooms that you see are not talk shops. There are deal rooms. How can Africa position itself such that it attracts foreign direct investment or even local investment? What would be a game changer for us here in Africa is the mobilization of domestic resources and regional resources from institutional investors. There is a $2 trillion of asset under management by African institutional investors that even if you take a fraction of this uh, amount of money and channel it to infrastructure, you'll, you'll make a big progress in, uh, in closing the gap. 10% of that will give us about $210 billion that will close all the energy gap, financing gap that Africa has. That will close all of our annual infrastructure gap. That's why we collectively have prioritized leveraging institutional investors. One particular um, concern is travel and the problem with logistics. The AFC FTA has started but we still see the hitches in movement of goods from one part of the, con uh, the continent to another. How will this be solved? Logistics has been one of the binding constraints to, to efficient trade. And it's, it's precisely because of that you've seen massive investment in infrastructure. And so all the criticisms of inefficiencies had to do with the fact that we never had good networks, infrastructure networks on the transport side. But there's also been a, an impediment on the institutional side where we, we've not had always the, the smartest institutional you know, arrangements around border, stop, border posts. Regional Economic Communities, the African Union Commission, have been pushing the institutional aspects of better connectivity. And this is why you see a big push on agriculture that the African Development Bank has been pushing very hard. And now industrialization is another theme that's coming on very strong. We're looking at smart mining around the climate issues. And, and, and this is really the, 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 the vindication of Africa's very strong investments in infrastructure because without the real economy being rolled out on top of the infrastructure, you won't get the payback. We are doing this in a way which is uh, consistent with our goal uh, to achieve uh, our climate target because climate change is something which is also linked to infrastructure development. So whenever we design a project, we think about making sure that those projects are climate uh, resilient, climate friendly. I believe the Alliance for Green Infrastructure in Africa at COP is going to be massive, but the African Development Bank, Africa 50 and others uh, will be behind trying to make sure that Africa positions itself as funding infrastructure in a way which is climate resilient and climate friendly. I, mean, I just add to what Alan said, it's very important because there is existing infrastructure that we need to climate proof. There's also new infrastructure not yet built that we have to make sure it's built in the right way. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Allen, for joining us. Thank you so much, Mr. Admasu, for joining us. It's been a wonderful chat with you three.